everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a completely vegan and completely gluten-free holiday roast or tofu, tofurkey, whatever you want to call it. I have been wanting to make this for a while, but I honestly didn't think I was skilled enough to make it. So I finally tried to make one this year and it worked so well. I'm patting myself on the back, I'm very proud of myself. But I wanna show you the recipe. Before we get into the video, I wanna say that this video is proudly sponsored by Nasoya. I'm going to be using their organic extra firm tofu in this recipe as the outside portion or the main portion of our turkey. And I love Nasoya tofu because it's organic, non-GMO, it is really high quality, and I do think that the flavor is really, really good. It's the tofu that I prefer to use in all of my recipes and my everyday cooking. So if you see this in a store near you, definitely check it out. I will have a link to the full blog post down below as well as a link to their store locator. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. We're just going to need a few key ingredients for this recipe, all of which you can see here. But we're gonna get started with our tofu. We're going to use two blocks of Nasoya's Extra Firm Tofu for this recipe. If you have time, I would actually let it cool slightly on the countertop beforehand. It just makes it easier to handle because we're going to be quick pressing it. So first, we're just gonna cut the blocks in half using a knife. This just makes them easier to press and I don't know about you, but I don't got time to wait like five hours for my tofu to press, so we are force pressing it. You can use a net milk bag or a clean kitchen towel, and you're gonna work with one of the smaller blocks of tofu at a time. I found that when you work with a smaller block of tofu, it's easier to squeeze more liquid out of it. So instead of waiting for forever to get the liquid out of our tofu, we're just gonna use our hands and squeeze it out, get a nice forearm workout, whatever. Uh, just try to get as much liquid out as possible. And also keep in mind that it's okay that you're totally crushing the tofu block because it's going to be blended later. The main goal here is to just get all of that liquid out. So this is sort of what the tofu should look like once it's been pressed. As you can see, it's pretty dry. There are some larger pieces that are still together as well as some smaller crumbles. So you're going to repeat this process with the rest of the tofu. After I squeezed all four blocks, I had gotten about just over one cup of the tofu liquid out of the tofu. So if you want a benchmark or something to compare to, that's a pretty good amount of water or liquid to get out of. So this is what our tofu looks like once it's finished. It honestly kind of looks like it's ready for a tofu scramble, but that's not where we're going today. We're going to plop it into the food processor and blend it with our other ingredients to form our tofu turkey. So we're going to need some minced garlic, a fourth of a cup of low sodium tamari. Make sure you use low sodium or it's gonna to be too salty. We're also adding two tablespoons of oil to add some moisture to the recipe and some poultry seasoning, which is a blend of spices, it is vegan. We're also going to add two tablespoons of tomato paste and a teaspoon of vegan chicken flavored bouillon. Uh, I like to use this paste, but there are also powder variations that you can use as well. Once you add all of that to your food processor, you're going to blend it for, I would say, at least 60 seconds. You want to make sure everything is very, very well incorporated and that the tofu becomes smooth. So then at this point, we're going to add in one cup of chickpea flour to the recipe. It's going to help make our turkey a little bit firmer and make this tofu paste easier to work with. I also really like it because it's high in protein, so it makes the final texture of this dish a little more realistic. So this is what the mixture should look like once it's done. There should be no clumps of chickpea flour. It's pretty thick, but it will still be pretty wet. Like you can't form it into a ball with your hands or anything. So now we're going to plop two thirds of this tofu mixture into the bottom of an eight inch loaf pan that you have lined or greased. And I like to start by adding the bulk of the mixture to the base and then spreading that around so you have a thick base layer. And then from there, I like to use my spatula to sort of press into the mold and press it up the sides. You want the majority of the sides to be covered in a relatively thick layer because we're creating a well for our stuffing and we don't want any of the stuffing to peep out of the sides. So I find the easiest way to do this is to press it all to the bottom so you don't have any holes and then to sort of scale up the sides. So after you have your well, it definitely doesn't have to look perfect. We're going to add in our stuffing. You can use regular stuffing, gluten-free stuffing, or if you don't want to have any bread in this, you could also just pre-cook some roasted vegetables and stuff them into the turkey as well. The biggest thing here is to make sure your filling is packed well down. Otherwise you're gonna get air bubbles in it and it's not going to stay within the slices when you slice the tofu turkey later. 
So now we're going to top our loaf pan with the remainder of the tofu mixture. And here I'm just adding it in small dollops, mainly trying to cover most of the surface area of the tofu. Obviously you're gonna have some small cracks, but this makes it a lot easier to spread. So after you dollop everything on, you're gonna rinse your spatula off. It's easier to use if it's clean and sort of press it onto the tofu. As you can see, when I first start pressing it down, it doesn't stick to the mixture, but eventually it's going to start sticking. So then at that point, I just rinse the spatula off again, and then I get back to work. It's just a lot easier to spread the mixture around when you have a sort of water barrier to keep it. And as you can see, you can just sort of move the mixture around a little. You don't need to make it perfect. This is actually gonna end up being the bottom of the tofu turkey. Just make sure everything is nice and sealed. Then we're going to pop this in the oven at 375 for 30 minutes. So after 30 minutes have passed, we're actually gonna take a baking sheet, line it with parchment paper, and then take our tofu turkey out of the oven. It should look a little something like this. I am using a knife to sort of loosen up these sides because I just lined it with parchment paper and I didn't I did grease the sides, but it still stuck a little. So then we're going to flip the turkey on to that parchment paper and take the pan off. It should slide off pretty easily. And now we're going to baste the turkey or just use a pastry brush to brush balsamic vinegar on all sides of the turkey. You want it to sort of soak into the outer layer a bit. This is going to help with browning. I probably use about a tablespoon in total, but you might use a little bit more or less depending on how hand heavy handed you are. And then last but not least, I gave my turkey a little quick spray of nonstick non cooking spray, geez. Um, this helps to caramelize the exterior a little more and get a little bit more browning, but it is optional. So now we're gonna put this back into the oven for around another 30 minutes. And this is what it, it looks like once it comes out. You should have a nice golden and crisp layer on the outside. So we're just gonna let this cool for at least five minutes before we slice and serve it. As you can see, you got that nice glossy exterior. The I actually recommend using a serrated knife to cut this. I find it goes through easier um, and sort of slices through the turkey better. And you got that beautiful, perfectly stuffed filling. Oh, I went and stuffed or slice the rest of it. Sorry guys, I'm at a loss for words. I'm so happy with how this came out. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, we have a nice sort of golden crust around the edge. And even though this is gluten-free, it actually is very firm as if there was gluten in it, which was kind of mind boggling to me, but I'm not gonna complain. Tofu and chickpea flour, guys. It's the new magic secret ingredient. So you can serve this however you'd like. I just kind of plated this up with some other standard Thanksgiving recipes. I actually used my vegan stovetop stuffing for this recipe, as well as my tahini gravy. And I made a new green bean casserole recipe that will be coming to the blog soon if it's not up there already. So yeah, this is just really delicious. I wanted to give you one final close up. Like it's, oh, I just can't believe that I made this and I hope you make it too because it's really, really satisfying to be able to make this yourself because I feel like it seems very complicated but it's actually pretty easy. All right guys, and there you have it. I really hope you try this recipe out. Obviously, no, you're not going to convince a meat eater that this is a turkey. I wanted to make this recipe more so plant-based people or people who don't eat turkey could have a vegan and gluten-free option that is more accessible and affordable because oftentimes those holiday roasts are kind of hard to find in the store and they can be really, really expensive. And also, I don't think I know of a single one that's gluten-free. So I wanted to make it vegan and gluten-free and it's only made with around nine ingredients. So all of them are pretty budget friendly too. And you can get most of them in a standard grocery store. So I hope you guys like this recipe. I have a ton more Thanksgiving recipes on my YouTube channel as well as on my blog. So I'll link, I think I have a playlist and I have a round of blog posts too that I will link down below for you. So have an awesome day. Stay awesome, like, subscribe, comment, whatever. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.